Example three is another application. Bill is preparing to make an ice sculpture. He has a block of ice that is three feet wide by four feet high by five feet long. Bill wants to reduce the size of the block of ice by removing the same amount from each of the three dimensions. He wants to reduce the volume of the ice block to 24 feet cubed. So that's in the end, it's going to be 24. Write a polynomial function to model the situation and how much should he remove from this um, dimension. So since we don't know how much he's removing, that's gonna be our X amount. So he's gonna remove X amount. We know we're gonna need our volume formula of length times width times height. So let's create an equation. I want my answer to have my volume, rather my final volume to be 24. My length, it's five, but I'm gonna subtract off X amount. So it's gonna be five minus X. My width is going to be is three, so it's gonna be three minus X amount. And now my um, height is four, so it's gonna be four minus what we remove, X amount. Now I need to solve for X. To solve for X, you're going to multiply this through and um, isolate, uh, or sorry, set the equation to zero. So to do this, I prefer to foil with that term first and then we'll multiply this through. So when you do that, you're gonna get 12 minus seven X plus X squared, 24. When you multiply this through, uh, which you can kind of do at your own pace, you're gonna get 60 minus 35 X plus five X squared minus 12 X plus seven X squared minus X cubed. We're gonna combine like terms and I'm also gonna move the 24 over to this side as well. So we're gonna get X cubed minus 12 X squared plus 47 X minus 36 equals zero. It's very important that it's set to zero because now you're solving for X. So to solve, we need to factor. So to factor, we're going to test a point um, factors of 36. So I'm gonna try one first. So one cubed minus 12 times one squared plus 47 times one minus 36 equals zero. So we get one minus 12 plus 47 minus 36. And oops, I shouldn't have equal zero there. Um, but I'm gonna calculate this and this does now equal zero. Okay, so therefore X minus one is a factor. So I'm gonna use that in my synthetic division. So set that up. So we're factoring this, we got one minus 12, 47, minus 36, bring down the one, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Again, of course, you're gonna get a remainder of zero. So this is what it looks like factored. Now, we would try to factor this. This does not factor further. One of the things you could do if you were trying to factor it is quickly check the discriminant. So this is a good review. And you'll see that when you do this, you get a negative discriminant, which means that you would not be able to factor that further. So you are uh, your factors are only this. So this is my factored version. I need to make sure it's set to zero because I'm solving. So x equals one is the only root. So it's the only root. So we don't have to worry about rejecting anything. There is no x values from this part of the polynomial. So Bill, needs to remove one foot from each side. You could do a quick check on this one. If you were to check that and you were to put that back into um, our original um, width of f three, four, and five, it would now be two, three, and four, which is 24 feet cubed.